Hi, welcome to Orange Labs. I am working currently for the next release. Um, we are working on 4.0. And the thing you always have to do is to check what is new on the GitHub. Why? Because there is a little folder, not that little. There is a core folder on Arch Labs, which is the one in here. The one in your hidden folder .config and then in the folder open box. This is your core folder. What should you do from time to time is check up on the GitHub. Are there any differences? Are there things that have been included? New shortcuts, new programs, things like that. We cannot and will not, uh, we cannot uh, save these files on AOR or somewhere and then put it on your own home folder. That's not done. So you have to check it yourself. This is the procedure. How can you check it? Because I've just changed something online and um, now I want to have the same settings in my system. So that's, that's what happens. We change stuff for Openbox core folder. Let's check what's changed. Okay. Let's go ahead with the browser and check on the GitHub. The browser is already on the other screen, but let me first select the GitHub like so. And here is the Arch Labs Openbox configs folder. So you have to take care if anything new, and I've just updated something four minutes ago. So are we gonna download this and see what is changed? We show it in the folder. What did we download? This one and all the rest has to go. This is what we did extract here. So this is the folder. Let's put them with our, let's quickly put it on like so. With this Super 6, it's there. And this one we're gonna put here Super V on the other screen. And this one is going to be there. Well, so this is my personal, the left is the personal folder and this one is downloaded from the net. I always do it the same, otherwise I'll confuse myself. There is a shortcut, Windows F5, which is going to start uh, melt. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a directory comparison. I'm gonna go to my personal com, uh, config file, which is in here, the open box config folder, not file, and then in the download. So I'm gonna check is what happens, what did they change online. We compare, and of course you don't need to read me, but the auto start has changed, so let's take a look. He wants me to go to sleep, sleep one nitrogen, so I this is my code, and this is the code from the net. So I'm gonna keep this one, because this also applies to the ISO, so in, in this, uh, this line will get the black screen, first time when you boot. Afterwards you don't need it anymore, then variety kicks in, so I, I put, it, uh, put the hashtag in front of it, so it will not apply. And underneath here, my Plank is active and Temps is active, and when you start, Plank and Temps will not be active. So that's okay, nothing major. We don't need this one, nor this one. The key bindings, key bindings are probably different, why? because of the things that changes. As you can see here, we have a new name here. We are using AF3 to get XFCE, so that's correct. Let's get that over to our system. So this again, the right side is the online version and the left side is my version. So I'm gonna save it. And we're going to the net for this one. I've just put in the support for the system for Rofi. Let's go ahead. And by the way, I hope you see here the, the lights, the colors on the right here where the mouse is. So I'm scrolling to see what changes. So I've changed mine into GNOME screenshots since I want to have uh, smaller GPGs for my website. But standard is XFCE. And then that beef, audacious, that's changed. 
and we've added a completely new support for Rofi, Rofi, Showrun, etc. I'm going to put that in and we're going to save it. You can quit always here and then it says you want to save the, the left side. So the first one is the left side, it's my personal one. Save, it's a, I do, and that's it. So we have now checked what's new on the net and saved and copy pasted over the ones we like with the little program, super program, Melt. Now, how do we make sure that this RCXML works? Control Shift Backspace, or you go and look to where is the code, the reconfigure. That's the same. And when we press now Control and then Spacebar, we get this uh, Rofi menu, which we can lay out in colors and so on. So that's fun to do. And you can start typing. I want to look for Firefox or this Chrome here, etc. And then you can navigate with arrow keys. And we start Chrome. So that's the Rofi menu that's been added. It's not that many megabytes, but some people like it. So it's in here. Enjoy.